Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow our partners on Facebook for the latest updates. Latest on what Force 13 has designated Tropical Depression 91B, not internationally recognized yet, but the storm is slowly getting its act together and could prove to be a major threat for the northern Bay of Bengal region heading into next week. Right now, the storm has winds of 30 miles an hour sustained with a minimum pressure of 1,003 millibars. Already, as of 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time, a catastrophic potential, stage 7 on the CDPS scale, just underscoring how intense this storm could get in the future. Still a long ways from land though, particularly where it could make potential landfall, 635 miles away from Puri, 942 from Dhaka in Bangladesh itself, and even in Myanmar, there is potential for it to go there if it goes far enough east, still over 700 miles from that area as well. Because it is so far from land still, about 5 days from any potential direct landfall impacts, no warnings are in place at this time, however, this will definitely change in the future as the storm tracks north in the upcoming week and could potentially make a landfall anywhere from north central uh, India's east coast to Bangladesh to even Myanmar. Here's a computer model showing the kind of energy of the storm through precipitation and cloud cover. You can see it track northwards through the Bay of Bengal on the latest GFS run, gathering steam, becoming very, very intense. Um, and this GFS run in particular does have it making landfall near Dhaka and moving inland over Bangladesh. If this scenario were to happen, tens of millions of people would get hurricane force sustained winds. That is why this storm could be so dangerous and is why it's rated so high on the CDPS scale. Sea surface temperatures are definitely in favor for the storm. 30 to 31 degrees Celsius, uh, completely in its path. What's going to stop it more than anything else is going to be itself, if anything. This storm could become a strong Category 4 storm in the near future. Here's the GFS wind speed model forecast. You can see the system there coming from the bottom of the screen as a tropical storm heading into the next 24 hours, gathering steam pretty quickly as it starts to head north. This GFS run and many other computer models have the system becoming at least a Category 3 plus storm. We have it as a potential Category 4 storm coming towards landfall, and it could get even stronger. The main thing stopping it is itself. You can see this particular model one has a landfall in Bangladesh, but again, it is very important to note that there's still a significant cone of uncertainty of where this storm could make landfall, with the European model in particular bring it further west into India instead. These are the chance of tropical storm force winds within the next five days for the time being, though. Puri in India is 40%, even though the European brings it that way, other models are less keen on it. Bangladesh is going to be the main zone we're focusing on at the moment with 50% pluses for odds there but it is important to keep an eye on other regions. That's because of this track forecast from computer models. The general consensus has started to narrow in on Bangladesh being the most likely location for a landfall, but there is outliers that are showing potentially even further east towards Myanmar, and those that are saying further west towards India as a possibility. But why we're so concerned about this storm, the potential for very intense wind speeds over large population areas, this HWRF run, most recent one that's come out, has category four pretty quickly and sustained category four upwards of 120 knots possible near landfall in this particular model run. Like I said earlier, the only thing really going to stop the storm in the upcoming days is itself as it's going to be heading into continuously favorable conditions. This is the current satellite imagery of the storm. You can see it's still pretty disorganized, but it is slowly getting to act together. It has a lot of convection to work with, a lot of favorable conditions, and we'll be monitoring this very closely over the next several days. Stay with us for the latest. You can find us at our outlets, force13.com, for the latest information on cyclones with our cyclone tracker. We're also on YouTube. If you're not here already, make sure to subscribe if you haven't. We also have a Facebook page if you want to check out our latest posts there. It's force13 to get us there. And we're also on Twitter if you want to send us a tweet. It's at force13 to send us a message there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found directly at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you become an ultimate fan here on YouTube for perks and to be able to support the project directly. You can also find us on Discord with the link in the description below or messaging Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord.